Hello guys, so welcome to KO Tutorials. So let's continue with the next part of this tutorial. So let's get started. So as you can see over here, we have started with the car modeling over here. So let's continue it. So now what I'll be doing over here is like, let's go over here and we can definitely close this. Let's go to the front section over here. So we can definitely create a frame over here as required. So first I'll just go into this and you can just create this frame with a line also. So you can just create a line. Let's just create a line over here. So let's just create a frame like this using a line and let's just close the shape so I'll just uh, press alt Q select this line slightly I'll just push this over here after that let's just adjust this correctly select the vertices slightly just push it behind and if you want you can slightly tilt it over here <coughs> go into rendering go into enable in viewport and let's make it as rectangular over here slightly reduce this uh, length and width of it so this can be correctly managed over here so can just go into this select the vertices and adjust it select the vertices and let's just adjust this properly all right so now again you can just select the top you can slightly just shuffle it inside so we need to just adjust this stuff correctly <coughs> in this way so this is going to be <coughs> coming in the front section over here so we need to do it correctly over here after that once you are done with this let's go over here and if you see this we need some grills over here so how we can model these grills so you can just see this let's again take a line let's take a line to I'll just go over here okay so from the side we need to just correct this slightly so this looks a bit better So as it is a curve, so you need to make sure that it is uh, correctly managed. All right. So we can just adjust it in the same way as we are doing right now. So go over here let's again take a line tool so how you can model a grill is like i can just off this so you can just model it like this and you can just close this so let's again go over here and let's give a modifier called extrude modifier and go into the vertex make it as corner if needed so slightly just shuffle it over here so select the vertices push it up
in this way. So we have to adjust this correctly. So before we do this stuff, if you are done with this, let's convert to editable poly. Let's go over here. Let's select this edges. Select this edges. Let's select all the edges over here and let's give a bit of chamfer to it so let's click over here on the chamfer and slightly assign a chamfer a bit so we can to make it look a bit smoother over here so once you're done we can just select this again and convert to poly again go into this select this edges over here so now what i can do over here is like i can just select this you can just select all this edges over here So again go over here and slightly give a bit of chamfer to it and let's click ok. So and isolate this. So what I can do over here is like uh, I can just go into this front view and I can just select this. You can just adjust it. Just can slightly tilt it if needed so we can do that again duplicate it let's go to the top view let's again make a copy of it slightly again make one more copy of it so we are just making this copies over here right now so you can just duplicate it as many copies you need you can just take that so let's go to the top view over here and shuffle it out So select this stuff again and slightly just push this up. So we can just select this over here. I'll just assign a single color to it. So once it is done, now what I can do over here is like, let's uh, come out of this knob toggle. Let's select the border and I'll just cap it. So you can easily just uh, close the light area over here we already created this so let's give a cut over here let's assign a cut let's assign one more cut over here so we are just going to close this uh, shape correctly over here so wherever it is required we can just uh, end the shape over here so again go over here let's put a cut over here and let's end the shape so once it is done you can just select this polygons your your light stuff what we had created over here and all right 
So right now if you want to go with the lights uh, definitely you can uh, assign the materials also you can put some uh, stuff of a halogens inside if you are creating something different over here. So let's go into this and let's give a turbo smooth over here. So once you give a turbo smooth you see that nothing is going to work over here. So now I'll just go over here and I'll slightly give a bit of inset over here. So let's just assign one more inset over here and let's slightly give a bit of bevel if needed or we can just keep it as it is. Let's click OK over here and again I'll go over here I'll add some swift loops over here and now if you go over here and see this so this is going to give you a section of a light over here once you assign this uh, turbo smooth correctly over here so this can be done in this way as you want to work now again I'll just go over here and I'll just off the turbo smooth let's just save the file once now again I'll go into this front view over here and if you need anything to be worked out over here like the number plate and all this so let's again take a box and let's just slightly I'll shuffle it a bit further over here so you can just slightly shuffle this over here and now what I can do is like so now you can just slightly adjust this as required over here so you can I'll just I'll just place it for now so convert to editable poly I'll just select this let's slightly give a bit of inset over here and I'll just give a bit of bevel if needed so I can just slightly make the shape in this way over here now Again, let's go over here into the side view over here. So if you have any kind of stuff like uh, to be created, we can do that. Let's again select the border, right click and I can just cap this. So I can just cap this stuff. Let's click over here and let's use the cut. Let's click over here, use the cut option. And if you want, I can just end this stuff over here in this way so select this polygons I can slightly just insert it very less okay so I'll just uh, you can just select this and weld it so make sure you correctly weld it Oops, it's not welded so let's just weld this over here now let's see Oh, it's not so there are uh, two faces I guess yes so now you can just select this and target weld with this stuff in this way so if you see this over here correctly we have one additional face over here so select this polygons let's delete this so you need to take care of this stuff while you're working so you see that again select this go into this target weld I'll just weld it over here so select this so so although uh, we have assigned this but there are chances that it's not welded so let's just weld this okay. now looks better over here right from this top view also and also from the other views so again select this uh, polygons 
let's select this polygons over here let's slightly insert it and extrude a bit inside and let's click ok and let's give a nerve toggle so now this is uh, working correctly so let's see this if any face opened up we can just delete that face or you can just select this edges control and backspace right click and let's use this cut over here and let's end it so now looks better so this looks good over here all right just save your file so guys if any doubts please put it in the comment section over here so few things are left which will be covering up in the coming tutorial so please like and subscribe my youtube channel so we'll continue the rest of the part in the coming tutorial so thanks for watching this tutorial